Hey everyone, I'm Charlie and this is an FPP short. So the past week and a half for me has been super busy between show setup, getting everything ready for this weekend. I actually started a new job, went out to Vegas for a trade show, and I just haven't had a whole lot of time. Well, I got back the other night and saw my virtual matrix or my Toon Toon sign that I use a TV for it. That died. It was a 15 year old TV. It finally passed away. Rest in peace, it served its purpose great for over the years. So I went out and bought a new TV. One of the nice benefits of newer TVs and projectors is you can actually turn them on and off through apps, uh, directly through the HDMI cable. If you say you have a sound bar that will actually send an on off signal to the TV, there's a bunch of ways to control them these days. Let's figure out how to turn the TV on and off without using a third party resource. I use Home Assistant personally. I have a few TVs set up with home assistant to have remotes on my phone but i didn't necessarily want to use the third party when the raspberry pi and the tv are directly connected through a wired cable that can actually power the tv on or off or put it into standby mode so i'm going to show you how i did that the fpp device that runs my virtual matrix is actually set as a remote it's not the main player which is probably applicable to a lot of people and this is raspberry pi zero you and pretty much any raspberry pi with an HDMI output will work just fine. Any threes, Raspberry Pi fours, zeros. And then this should work with any modern TV or projector. I'm utilizing utilities called CEC utils or consumer electronics control utilities. It is very simple to set up. It's going to compose of two scripts, one to turn the device into standby mode and the other one to turn it on. So there are two scripts that you're going to need for this which I'll have a link to them down in the description that you can download yourself and upload them into your FPP device. But we also need to install the CEC utilities, which in the script that you get, there will be the command that you can copy and paste out of here. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna hop back into FPP here and under help, I can go down to SSH shell. Your login, unless you've changed it, is gonna be FPP and your password should be Falcon. Once again, unless you've changed it. And so I'm going to paste in that little command that we just copied to paste in the shell. You actually need to hit control and shift and then press V and hit enter. And that will run the sudo apt install CEC utils. I already have this downloaded and installed. And if you notice, it says it's already the newest version. If you don't have it yet, it'll just take a little bit longer. The next thing we need to do is get the address of the HDMI device that we're looking to control. Once again, there's a command in the script that you get from me that will allow you to do that as well. So I'm going to grab that real quick. It's on the second line. So I'm going to do that real quick. Once again, control shift V. This is essentially going to spit us out some information and we are looking for this address number. Device zero is traditionally going to be your TV or a projector where device one is going to be kind of the loopback or recorder. In 99% of cases, it's going to be device zero. So we're going to remember the 0.0.0.0, .0 here. And if we notice our power status is actually in standby right now for the TV. So now that we know that, we're going to come into our Raspberry Pi again and under content setup go to file manager and if we go to scripts this will show us all the scripts that we have on this Raspberry Pi you're going to want to upload these scripts that you download from this video so you should have two scripts one that says CEC devices on and then the other one that for CEC devices standby and if we open them up we can edit them in here and where it says client add you're going to want to make sure that it says 0.0.0.0 in the script that you get it's just going to say CEC client address here just put the 0, 0.0.0, .0 address there hit save do that to both scripts to make sure that address is in both of them and you should be good to go now if this does not work you might need to enable cec control on your tv or projector i have an lg tv they called it simplink but if you google your tv brand name and cec control you should be able to come up with something pretty quick on how to enable it. Now that we have these scripts installed, we can actually run them. Our device is in standby right now, so let's click run on the on command. And once that stops spinning up there, we know that the command is finished running. If we come back to our shell here, click up to get to our most recent command to scan the CEC client. And now if we notice our power status is on. So now the TV's on it's playing it's working the next thing we need to do is get these scripts into a playlist so when the show starts up the tv turns on and when the show ends the tv shuts off 
to do that, I'm actually going to hop into my master FPP controller and use the remote run script script. So let's do that now. Here I am in my master controller. It's currently playing a preseason thing out there just to get all the neighbors into the holiday spirit. And we need to get a script to run scripts on remotes. So if we go under content setup and click on script repository browser, we want to find this remote run script.sh. If you click install, that will install it for us. Now, if we go all the way back up to the top, click on content setup file manager, we can go to our scripts in here. And I already have a couple created just for this when I was setting it all up, making sure it worked before I wasted your time. These are very easy to modify. Here is the remote run script. This is what it will look like when you download it. You need to put in the IP address of the remote Pi that you want to control. And then you need to put in the script name. And once you get this all filled out, this is what it should look like. Here is the one to turn my TV on. Click edit. Here's the IP address to my remote. And here is the CEC device on .sh script. So we will close that. And at this point, let's run this on the standby because our TV should be on now. Let's hop back into the shell and we'll run another scan. So now we should be in the standby mode. Now it's in standby. If we hop back to our master, we can run the on. We'll run that, hop back into the shell, scan again. And now we have a power status of on. So we just toggle the power back and forth using our master FPP controller to talk to a remote FPP controller to turn a TV on or off. So now the next thing I need to do is get this in a playlist so I can automate it, which if you watch the video on nested playlists, that will show you how to do it. So you can put it into a single playlist, have it called on by other playlists as the season goes through. And if you need to make any changes, it's a single place to make those changes. I will also have a link to this article from Linux Uprising. This is what I use to figure out how to do this. So I'll have a link down in the description for this if you want to read it for yourself. There's some more useful information. You actually can see what all the commands are that you can use for this. If you play music out of your TV or use the audio at all, you can manipulate that as well. So I hope this video helped a couple of you on how to control a TV or a projector through the HDMI cable coming out of your Raspberry Pi. I find this very helpful. It is 100% local to the Raspberry Pi and the TV. I don't need to use something like Home Assistant or Node-RED or MQTT to create automations to go out and back in. And this just seems a lot more streamlined and easy to set up, especially when it comes to scheduling and everything's in one local area. If you learned some today, make sure to like the video, consider subscribing to FPP Shorts, and I'll be coming back at you with more tips and tricks real soon.